Larry Rosebrook from New York Fishing. Fishing New York, excuse me. Uh, I got my boat back together, some of the parts I showed you. I'm kind of going to show you some of the stuff I got and some of the other stuff I don't got. Uh, one thing I do have here is I'm recording from this camera here, which is hooked into this. So this will always be on when I'm fishing. I've had that last year, but I didn't use it very much. But I'm kind of looking forward to start using it. To start out first, I'm going to show you, I'm going to bend over here and show you, I got this back on over here. This is the, the depth finder. This is the transducer that I hooked up. Okay, start out, I'm going to start out with the battery here. As you can see, I got two batteries inside here and the switch plus a charger plug-in charger just for this battery this battery runs my two depth finders this battery goes to the motor but if i want i can switch over to one and two if this battery gets low or this battery gets low and i can charge i can start the boat with both batteries uh two will go just to this battery so it's kind of a neat kind of hookup so i'm Glad I got it. It's kind of a safety precaution. We'll see how it goes. Show you some of the storage here. I did run the wires, a lot of the wires under here, and I used these, these hookups right here, which is a lot better. I just had them floating around in there last year. Of course, I keep my life preservers, boat safety stuff in there. Now, I want to show you my, I call them bumpers. But this is kind of a neat hookup. See how this works? These buttons go around. You can move these buttons pretty easy if you got a screwdriver. And those is how that hooks on. Of course, this the lun's got this side rail, which I can put my fishing poles in the in these rod holders, which is right here. I got about four or five of them. I got a couple up front on the front with the, the trolling motor. I got more storage here put longer rods in here and I put all sorts of stuff in here it's quite a good size locker back here is my big live well I, I don't use a live well a lot because I don't keep my bass I do use that when I'm walleye fishing which I should be out doing now but I, I haven't got all my equipment I got equipment coming Monday fishing tackle and stuff so I kind of waiting to put that all back together. Then in this little nifty thing, I keep all my odds and ends stuff. Now over to the, the cockpit here. This is what I had on last year. That's my depth finder, which runs, they both run coinciding each other. I have one up front there. I'll show you that when I go up front. Uh, that's a little bit bigger and they run off the same they can run off the same transducer which i just showed you in the back i hooked and then i got it hooked to these this thing which is working now you can see the lights flashing so if you look down in there you can see all that that's the the battery charger for the other two batteries which are right here goes to my trolling motor if you look i don't know if i let me pull this out There's, that's the 24 volt system hooked together. As you saw earlier, my my bolt, my batteries were in the back, which I put in now. They're pretty heavy to keep hauling in and out, but I like taking them out for the winter. And I run this main cable down through here. Of course, this is where my poles go. I haven't got them ready yet, but I'm kind of looking forward doing some fishing i got some line coming with this order so as you can see that's all part of it up here i got some tackle i'm not all finished loading this yet got more room to put in there i got some tackle over here of course my my boating lines it's a pretty nifty setup i got with this boat i like this boat a lot I wish I could afford a little bit bigger one, but as you can see, this is what I ended up with 
but I'm very happy with it. Bun makes a good product. More tackle. And then, of course, I got this. It's got the sonar on it. Clear view. Back. It's got side view, which is not going to really show you anything right now because I'm not in the water with it. And it's got your traditional sonar, which is going to be hooked to the other, to the front transducer. I got a cable that goes from here back through. So, I actually will have two transducers. Of course, I got this Minn Kota troll motor, Altera. Goes in and out automatic. I don't even have to leave the, leave the pilot seat for it to go in. Before, you just have to jump up and put it down but it makes it a lot nicer now and I'll show you what I got this thing right here I call it a fob I usually put that around my neck of course you can run that thing from your phone and everything but it's got a spot lock on it which is the best thing I've ever saw in my life if you if you want to stay in one spot, I don't know, it picks up off the satellite or radar or whatever. It's the satellite thing is right here. You look. Which goes into the motor itself. So once you put that on spot, spot lock, it'll keep you right in the same spot. It's a really nifty thing. I guess that's about it. I don't know of anything else here that I got. I did a lot of wiring to this boat. I can't really wait to go fishing. I got to go down and check out the boat launch. I see three or four boats heading that way towards Alex Bay yesterday. Today it's nice out, 60 degrees. It's beautiful weather. So I'm kind of looking forward. And make sure you check my page. I will have a lot more fishing on it in the future as soon as I get all my tackle hooked up, which. As you can see, I got rods laying all over the place down here, getting ready to go.